In the Gospel of Matthew, one of Jesus' very first messages when he began his public ministry was repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. To repent is a change, uh, to be something different, to abandon the old ways and move forward. You know, Christ's message hasn't changed from the New Testament to the Old Testament. It's always been there. As a matter of fact, in the prophet Hosea, in chapter 10, uh, verse 12, uh, God says this, So for yourselves righteousness, reap steadfast love. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. Break up that fallow ground. That's part of that repentance. The things in our life that have gotten stale. Fallow grounds like a pale, unfruitful, unplowed, uh, undisturbed, useless piece of, piece of property. But God encouraged even the Israelites, these unfaithful, adulterous people. He says this, break it up. It's no different for us when Jesus says repent. We've got to break up the fallow ground of our lives. We've got to come to him in a willingness to change, to be transformed, to be made new. As the New Testament describes, man, we've got to put off the old self and put on the new. And that begins by breaking up the fallow ground in our lives. We come to Christ in faith. And he promises to help us because he paid the penalty for our sins on that cross. He died. He was buried. He rose again the third day. And he has come to offer help to everybody who wants this change. What a great message of hope. But the challenge for us as Christians is then, he says, you've got to repent and believe. Break up the fallow ground. Come to him and seek the help you need. And let righteousness rain down on you. God bless. And I hope you have a great day.